good, y'all. Welcome back to Brand New Reaction. It's time we got the we got the announcement trailer for the Last of Us remaster once again. Late on this one, I meant to record this one. Jesus Christ, come on! <laughs> I meant to record this one like like when I was doing all the reactions I was doing yesterday, but completely forgot about this trailer. And then it wasn't until today, like early last night, I was like, oh shit, I forgot about the Last of Us trailer. I saw some tweets about it again. So yeah, remaster the Last of Us Part Two. Obviously, I'm going to be picking it up. <laughs> yeah, though, I love the last ones, man. You know, I love the, first, the second game. Still have my copy around here. And quick view. I'm not... I'm not... Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not... I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm sure it's somewhere around here, but yeah, I'm not... Seeing it right. Here, I'll show you guys my copy of the game, but yeah. You guys know I love the game. You know, masterpiece, but let's see what we got. Naughty dog. I don't know what happened. Troy! I'm to take her to the fireflies and walk away. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? You were killer. Even if we found her, or by some miracle found someone else that's immune, <laughs> it made no difference. Because the only person who could develop a vaccine is dead. No! No! I know all the leads have dried up, but Joel's still out there, you know? <laughs> yep. We're gonna have to run! Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. You don't get to rush this. Ooh, new content. New outfits. Sick. Boy. Hey yo! Hey yo, fuck you. This is this we need this. We need we're getting lost levels. We're getting new levels. Cut, cut, bro. Fuck you. This is definitely worth it. That the new outfits with the fact we're getting lost, though, bro. That that uh, that alone warrants the seventy dollar price tag for that alone. Okay, let's see what these new outfits are. I don't even know why this dislike bar is so high, bro. We're getting new. We're getting new levels. We're getting cut contact back in the game. New levels. You know, new stages. Like, <laughs> what the fuck y'all on about? We got Ashton outfits. Looks pretty nice. And then I can't remember. it's kind of hard to tell what this is, but I'm assuming this is Ab this is not for, for Abby. It looks good, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. <laughs> can't really get a good look at it like we do with the astronaut outfit. It looks cool from the little bits that we get. I think it's an outfit from one of the um the facts that you fight, but I'm not entirely sure. If you guys know, leave it down in the comments. The fact we're getting lot we're getting new levels added to the game man is insane. Hey, ooh. Okay, you can even do the guitar with Joel this time. And it looks like you're in um this definitely looks like um the house that um Ellie and Dinah and Dina were staying at at the end of the game. So uh what could that mean? You know, or was there an option to play the game through Joel? Is there like a, Jack, a Joel story to the game? Is he, you could throw him in as a cosmetic outfit for Ellie, or is it something else entirely? Because we never see, unless I'm misremembering, we never see Joel in this room in the actual game. So that's new as well. But that's cool. You can now just mess around with the guitar whenever you want. That's cool. And introducing No Return. Ooh, what's this? Oh, a roguelike survival mode. Hell yeah. What if this is going to be co-op at all, this single player? Yo, that's cool. You can't stop this. Can't stop this. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, well, I will say, like, I've seen some, like, behind, like, some comparisons, and, yeah, the difference is nowhere near as big as it was from the last was, like, remaster or the original PS3 game to the remake, man. Like, that was a nine-day difference. Here, it's not that much, but which I think is just a testament to how good the game looked originally on the PS4, even on a base PS4. But there's definitely some improvements with, like, the skin tones and, like, extra details. It's definitely not that noticeable like it was in the first one, but, like... It's noticed. It, if you look hard enough, they're definitely there, man. But they're definitely way more minor changes than rather mind-blowing one. But yeah, there's definitely some added detailing with Ellie's skin here and like the dirt in there. There's there's some added detail. There's definitely it's definitely there. Ooh. So bad that close one, Joel. Oh! God damn, my man looking extra crispy right now. Look at those wrinkles, bro. Look at the hair, bro. Like I said, the changes aren't as major as they were with the remake. And listen, people want to say, like, oh, the remake was pointless. You didn't need this. Whatever, fine. You know, obviously all the accessibility fa added features for that game was not, was neat for those people that need that shit. But, like, whatever. I thought it was cool nonetheless. This one, I think you can't really deny that this is, that this is neat. Like, you can say, like, oh, it's just the first game with new graphics. They don't even give us a new gameplay and everything. Like... Sure, fine. You want to make that point, fine. The remake was pointless and didn't need to fine. But I think this one justifies its existence with all the extra shit they're adding, man. New modes, new cut content brought back into the game, bro. You know, new outfits, a roguelike mode that I'm assuming is single player, but maybe you can do co-op with it. You know, I think there's enough shit added in here for it to warrant the $70 price. Tag. And if you already have the game like I do, it's only 10 bucks. So that's nice, although I'm definitely going to get a physical copy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know me, I like my physical copies. But yeah, man, Joel looks amazing here, but like, there's definitely some added detail there, man, like, ugh. That looks great as well, like a little bit, like, once again, like, the, this one I saw, this is the one I saw, and there was definitely some change with the lighting, like, her skin tone and everything. Like I said, not as major, not as big of a change as the first remake, as the remake of the first game, but, which, like I said, I think is just a testament to how good the, this game looked on PS4, but it's there, it's there, it'll look hard enough. Ooh. Oh, yeah, bro, bro, this section, oh, no lie. This one was, and I, I don't know if I was streaming the game when I went through this. I think I might have. I don't remember. But, bro, this was one of my favorite parts of the favorite section of the game because you, because of, like, you're, I'm someone, I don't know about you guys, but I am someone that likes to explore. You know, with games like this, I like to explore, look everywhere to find any, like, if I can find any collectibles, notes, or, you know, ammo, what have you, just whatever it is. I always look around to see what I can find. And finding all the little notes that, like, lead it up to this boss battle about the infection as it was happening at the very beginning of it, man, lead into this massive fight, man, oh my god. It was perfect. Then again, if you weren't doing that, you wouldn't miss it. But if you were, man, they were building up to this boss fight, man, and it was done perfectly, man. This this was uh, this was such an amazing part of the game. For a pure uh, for a pure gameplay mode, this was probably my favorite moment of the game. That probably the final boss, just because I like that was that that felt good. That was that, that was awesome, man. And that whole last thing was fun because you get an assault rifle with Ellie, man. You get to really just rip shit up, really just yeah. The last was part two, motherfucker. Remast! January of next year. Very nice. Yeah, this is amazing. Don't know why they like why the distance ratio is so is so high or so or so yeah, so high, but whatever man. You ask me, this is amazing. The fact we're getting new levels. The fact we're getting cut content, like cut levels brought back into the game, man, which I'm definitely curious to see what those could be. Could that enhance the story at all? Are we going to get new cutscenes as well that could maybe help out the story mode that may make it to people that weren't so big on it before maybe like it a little bit more now, you know? I'm curious because although it looks like all the lost levels, let's go back right here for a second. These all look to be at least from, I, I can't tell if that's Ellie or Joel, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure these are both Ellie, so it makes me kind of wonder, like, what are these new sections? What was it that that got cut out, man? Like, I'm very curious to know what what is in these new levels, man. This alone warrants a seventy dollar price tag, and it be and there being this game getting remastered, man. Like, this alone, lost levels, man. You will never hear me complain about getting extra content that was cut from the game, man. And I'm curious to know what these levels were, and maybe these were cut because of just time constraints, because just because you guys know how much uh, how much uh, fucking um crunch there was in this game development that they just had to cut the shit out there just for the sanity of the devs you know so it would hit that release time or maybe they, there were some other reasons why these levels got cut man but i'm assuming some of these levels were cut because of just all the crunch with the game so now they have more time they can put it back in there and now we can get like a fuller experience man so 
I'm excited, man. This this alone, I'm excited for, man, that we're getting cut content brought back into the game, man. But, uh, yeah, man, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm excited for this, man. I was always like, oh, yeah, I'll pick it up anyway just to have it, you know, to maybe have an excuse to replay the game with better visuals and maybe some better gameplay with all the haptic feedback and everything, man. But the fact we're getting cut content back in there, we're getting lost levels, man. <laughs> Sold! You got me, bro. But, uh, yeah, man. Anyway, that's all I forgot you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on social if you feel like it. Links are across below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.